Hey there, it's Phoenix Amore. So, you know I was going to make a video because this whole dream thing is, is really starting to fascinate more people. I like putting it in video because I'm also speaking to some of the psychiatrists and psychologists who I know also work with people that, that understand things from a spiritual level. You have some really cool psychiatrists and psychologists that get it. You do have some people that watch too much TV and so they start dreaming stuff. And, and they're not grounded in knowing what they're seeing. This is what I was saying, the difference between prophetic dreaming versus somebody who's therapeutically dreaming. So mine are very, very extremely prophetic. If not prophetic, it's astral traveling, literally, as people are now realizing. That's literally what's going on. But the prophetic aspect, as you realize now, is, is cool because that's your language with God. So while people are like, she's always dreaming about you know, certain fighting and stuff. That's because I'm dreaming things that are happening in war, literally sometimes in the war stuff, or the symbolism of somebody having to actively, aggressively handle a situation. So one of the things is now you're realizing the dream I had where I said somebody kicked Obama away from a blonde headed boy. People didn't understand what that meant. Normally, again, my, my dreams have three meanings. So somebody kicking Obama away from a blonde headed boy is Boy, it means tired of your influence. Now, Obama would represent America because he's still president for now. But that was the thing that now that people are starting to see, that's Ireland saying, we don't want you around uh, Ireland, i.e. MMA, UFC. It's too violent. We just had somebody die in our country in this, what you call or consider sport. And so we're really looking at this very seriously. Maybe you're not taking it seriously because we still see some of these MMA, UFC fighters make marketing on top of that your military trains with ufc mma and some of the gyms on top of that we're finding that they're more likely to use steroids and on top of that you've just legalized marijuana so if you see all the layers that's been added for stuff to hit the fan you can understand why some countries like we don't want caitlin jenner's show here in our country we may be banning ufc mma Stop looking at it like they're being haters. That is the most ridiculous attitude you can have rather than it being maybe we really need to look at what's going on. So I started thinking about something and I realized this is what God really wanted me to do to present um, some sides to, uh, uh, to the other countries where you see there are some very grounded Americans like myself. If you understand spiritual ancient ways, which a lot of other countries did, and once they started understanding how I was speaking, they were like, she is really on point with a lot of stuff. That's why I didn't care about people like, what's she talking about? Didn't matter. The most important people understood what I was saying. So you now see why I was like, all right, I kept having these dreams where the White House sunk into the abyss. The influence is down. People not trusting America. People looking at America like it's more of a joke than anything. And if you have your military saying that it's it's being ranked weaker and having all these issues, somebody comes in saying, well, why are you spending all this money training with the MMA, UFC? Look at your budget. And, you know, it's a cool thing, but all these layers are involved with that with that arena. So that's just the reality of it. I came up with this this concept that I really, really think is going to really hit home for a lot of people, especially people like me that are American citizens, love America, but are looking at some of the stuff like this is wacky. I have separated the terms liberalized versus Americanized. And I'm saying this to other countries because I think America has become too liberalized. And so it's been clumped in and you say Americanized people. No, you got two, you got liberalized and you have American people. I'm American. I'm not completely liberalized. We've become too liberalized in America. That's what I completely agree with. Whether people want to call me a hater for saying it or look around and see really what's happening in our own country, it is just very real what's going on right now. So all the PR and all the article stuff, that's why it's almost comical in a way. That's the comical part because it's like you don't, it's not the same day and age where PR used to be just an excerpt in a magazine that would stay on the shelf for two weeks, three weeks, however you want to say it. You guys are pumping out articles so much to where it's annoying to people because it's like, okay, you still can't cover up some BS you just said two days ago and you're trying to fix it. Be quiet. That was my whole thing with the be quiet sometimes. Say something, leave it there, but they, we got to clean up. We got to clean up 40 articles. That's almost like 100 articles addressing one situation. It's become silly. So now people get what I was saying. Now you understand how my dreams work. So we, trust me, if you continue to watch my videos and kind of grow with me even more spiritually, you'll start understanding some stuff at some really deep root level. You guys take care.